Slider Crank Mechanism by John Boneri, Christopher Betancourt and Gabriel Carter. The slider crank mechanism is a mechanical linkage that has been used for centuries in various machines and devices, including engines, pumps, and presses. It is a simple but essential mechanism that converts rotary motion into reciprocating motion and vice versa. In this essay, we will explore the history and function of the slider crank mechanism. The history of the slider crank mechanism can be traced back to ancient times. It is believed that the mechanism was first used in water lifting devices in ancient Greece and Rome. The first known depiction of a slider crank mechanism is found in a manuscript dating back to the 3rd century BC. This manuscript shows a bronze water pump that uses the mechanism to lift water from a well. The slider crank mechanism was also used in the construction of medieval water mills. The mechanism was used to convert the rotational motion of a water wheel into the reciprocating motion needed to power the millstones. During the Industrial Revolution, the slider crank mechanism became an essential component in the development of steam engines. The mechanism was used to convert the linear motion of a piston into the rotational motion of a crankshaft. Today, the slider crank mechanism is commonly found in internal combustion engines, where it converts the linear motion of the piston into the rotational motion of the crankshaft. It is also used in various other machines and devices, including pumps, compressors, and presses. The slider crank mechanism consists of three main parts, the slider, the crank, and the connecting rod. The slider is a flat piece of metal that moves back and forth in a straight line. The crank is a rotating arm that is attached to the slider at one end and to the connecting rod at the other end. The connecting rod is a long rod that connects the crank to the piston or other reciprocating component. The function of the slider crank mechanism is to convert rotary motion into reciprocating motion and vice versa. When the crank rotates, it moves the slider back and forth in a straight line. This reciprocating motion is used to drive the piston or other reciprocating component. Conversely, when the piston or other reciprocating component moves back and forth, it rotates the crank, which converts the reciprocating motion into rotary motion. In conclusion, the slider crank mechanism is a simple but essential mechanical linkage that has been used for centuries in various machines and devices. Its history can be traced back to ancient times, and it has played a crucial role in the development of steam engines and internal combustion engines. Today, the slider crank mechanism is still used in a wide range of machines and devices, making it an essential component of modern technology.